it was sharp and it was sexy for Mark Selby. The sweet smell of a first round whitewash for the world number one. Tepchaya Anu is no stranger to first round exit in recent tournaments. Looking that one win to rebuild his confidence. And no matter how many doubles he pulled out of the drawer, he was in trouble the whole way through. The world number one impressive. No surprise there whatsoever. Well, the handshakes, Jimmy Camus, quickly as we thought they would, and not a huge amount to add from what we said in the mid-session interval about eight minutes ago. Yeah, he's not even broke sweat, Mark Selby. You know, he's there to battle with anyone, and uh, he can mix it at the high breaks, and he could also dog it out, but he had to do nothing today. All he did, had to do was just wait for noon to keep making mistakes and leaving him banging the balls, you know? It's a gift for someone like Mark Selby. I'd love to know what the jesters resting heart rate is because it must be in and around sort of the, the mid to high 30s because he's as cool as they come in the sport he's a pretty chilled out guy he seems to be you know a happy lo go lucky fella but when he's um when he's on the table he's an ultimate warrior so you know for for all he did there was just reserve energy for his next match yeah, absolutely and he's get back to the hotel before anybody else in the arena this afternoon the other four games all going on as it stands at the moment. Selby through 5-0. Um, probably the easiest other game at the moment is Michael Holt, still not at the mid-session interval, though he's 3-0 up against Stuart uh, Carrington. Marco Fu uh, and Dave Gilbert, as close as we thought it might be, they're taking a little break at 2 all. Yeah, Dave Gilbert's got to be pleased with that because Marco Fu is a banging form player, just narrowly losing to um, Ronnie O'Sullivan in the Masters, so he's up and, you know, playing really well. And Neil Robertson, of course, quarterfinal at the Masters. Really good start to the season. I think it was the Riga Open he won right at the start of the season. But he's looking at a real return to the, the very top echelon of his snooker form, which we know he's capable of. He's 2-1 up against Ben Williston. And how many years' experience in that final match, Jimmy Anthony Hamilton, <laughs> against Mark Williams? we got over half a century of grinding that match right through to the bitter end. The Sheriff of Nottingham, the Pro-Am four o'clock in the morning winner he'll play all day and all night Anthony Hamilton he don't care what time it is as long as he uh, gets through the match and he's two new up against Mark Williams second favorite in that game so he'll be well pleased yeah once these games are finished we will have an entire last 16 lineup after just three shows here from Berlin we go into the last 16 tonight we we absolutely catapult towards the quarterfinals and a brilliant weekend here at the Temper Drum. so this is the bottom half of the draw that we're still waiting to complete as it stands at the moment uh, Bingham awaits the winner of Fu against Gilbert Jan Bing the 16-year-old, what a win that was. Looking like Michael Holt for him, but we uh, will see. Uh, the Hawk is through 5-1. He'll face Robertson or Williston. We'll find out when that finishes. And Mark Selby then, he is there to face either that Sheriff of Pottingham or, of course, Mark Williams in the last 16. And Mark joins us now. Well, I should probably thank you first because we now have a two-and-a-half-hour break. Well, I've always been a fast player anyway, so I don't know what you was worried <laughs> about. <laughs> <laughs> um, we we just just said uh, your resting heart rate must be sort of around about the mid to high 30s the coolest player in the game and uh, <laughs> first rounds for you you go in with all the confidence of a world number one don't you yeah I mean I've had a great season so far this year won a few tournaments which is always nice but yeah I mean that was a tough game Tep I know on paper I won 5-0 he didn't play well at all but he's one of them players where when he does play his A game he's capable of beating anyone mm. when he was making shots as we were looking at in the mid-session you know one little out of position from him and you would punish him with a great safety shot are you aware out there when your game is ticking over like that so yeah well? I, I knew I had to keep him tight because in the balls as I say is as good as anybody and he, he don't play that many safety shots but I mean obviously he's such a good potter he sort of gets away with it half the time but today it just didn't happen for him he yeah. did pot some fantastic balls and got himself in you know with like you know the, the green and like there was a, uh, another long red and then he would just give you the gift you the game straight back to yeah, you it, it was strange. very strange I was, I was saying to martin clark at the interval i said on the shot he looks great and he looks as though he's never ever going to miss a ball but then mm. sometimes he'll miss like the easiest ball you just can't imagine so no, i think it's probably because of how, how quick he plays sometimes he can get a little bit careless but at the same time he's not going to change his game because that's what makes him so dangerous yeah and we saw that actually in the fifth frame when he missed that uh, black hit it really hard, a relatively easy, easy black. The pace 
uh, done for that and you were in and it, it was it was it was frame over um so cool relaxed confident we're number one you know chill to the bone chill <laughs> to the bone i thought he was gonna he, he was in the balls and i knew he was probably thinking of the balls and i knew he was probably thinking about a 147 because he, he's made one this season and he's missed the last black twice as well so i knew that was probably in his mind especially at four nil he's probably thinking got nothing to lose now give yeah. it a go and that's probably why he missed it really we love this tournament uh, we love coming to cover it. This morning when we came on air, mm. half an hour before you struck a ball, there was 150 snooker fans sat around the edge here, cheering and, and, and hollering. Ronnie said quarter-final day at the Tempa Drum was one of the best days in the whole snooker calendar. T do you share that? Is it, is it one of the tournaments that snooker players moan least about? Yeah, uh, not even just quarter-final. I just think it's one of the best venues we play in. Uh, we've been c coming to Germany for so many years now. The crowd are fantastic everywhere we go. Holland's a classic, we get great crowds. Here we get great crowds and, and the setup out there, the five table setup, I think it's it works and it's great value for the spectators as well. Yeah, you've won this previously. It's on the C V. You know nobody wins it twice. That's the way it is. <laughs> We're six years in, are we? So is that you, what it is? You, you know, not to put pressure on you because there's not a bead of sweat in that beautiful head of yours. But it, this, this, you know, the, this is history now. You've got to think about that. Uh, of course, yeah. I mean, any tournament I go into, uh, I, I have self belief in myself and, and try my hardest. If it's good enough, great. If it's not, obviously, I back to the practice table and go again. So, hopefully, this week it could be my week. Absolutely, and we've had many times in Eurosport this season and last, of course, where we watched you. Uh, lift major trophies uh, uh, above your head, whether it be here at the Temperdrome, as it was, or any anywhere else. Yeah, that was two years ago. I mean, there was a lot made of holding all three of the Triple Crown at the one time. All right, it's, all right. It's, but uh, that's what I mean. You're, you're you're playing so well at the moment. You're you're such a clear world number one. That's the highest the standard you're being judged by, isn't it? Yeah, I mean, I, I put a lot of pressure on myself anyway, whatever tournament I go into, because I know if I do turn up and play the game I'm capable of, then I've got every chance. So when you're not performing like that, you sort of get a little bit down on yourself and, and start looking for things sometimes. Yeah, well, let's have a look at some of the best shots that you played this afternoon and what was lightning quick, of course, and the word I always use is clinical, but Jimmy and Mark, take us through some of these. Well, it's a fantastic shot here. He, he, the white is close to the yellow pocket. He has no shot. And I think he rolls up to these two reds. Yeah, I, I, I knew the, the reds were going towards the left-hand cushion, so I thought if I can play the red into, into the pack, open him up and, and play quite an attacking shot and, and put him in trouble. Mm. Nice shot just round the angles there for the pink. Yeah, it was a natural angle to kiss the red off the black spot. But, yeah. I mean, I didn't really... The white didn't really move, so I sort of put myself in trouble after that. Yeah. That was a nice shot there. They're quite difficult queuing down on the yeah. ball. Yeah. I mean, I didn't want to leave Ampered over the red, but How I, was thought that I, to, I, I thought I wanted to go into them because it needed to free them up. But yeah, yeah. I mean, this light couldn't have worked out any better, that shot. Yeah. No, good stuff. Absolutely fantastic stuff. Well, listen, best of luck Thank you very uh, much. to you going forward. Last 16. Come thick and fast here. Do you prefer a tournament where you can get your feet under the table and spend, you know, two weeks in a venue, or do you like this short, sharp five days, blink and you miss it? Yeah, I think it's good because, like, I think now I'm playing every day if you keep winning. But then sometimes you go to some great cities like this in Berlin, and it is nice sometimes to have a day off and have a little walk around, but not when it's snowing outside. I'd rather just stay indoors and keep playing. Yeah, but that's what it's going to be. There's good Africa Cup of Nations on tonight in Eurosport if you want to watch that semi-finals yeah, live. Yeah, I've recorded them actually, yeah. yeah. So no, I'll, I'll don't don't, you, don't yeah. you dare. No, Cam Cameroon against Ghana, nice. what a game that is. Uh, we get loads of tweets and texts coming in with us being live. Obviously, we encourage as many people to get in touch. It's hashtag German Masters. This is what I mean about you can just text or tweet in anything. Tasha and Mark have just spent the afternoon in your company. Close the curtains. It's rainy outside from what I hear back home. Just watching the action. Yeah, well, they probably had the feet up expecting a long afternoon because I'm normally like drag it out. But I mean, today it seemed to be a different scoreline. Absolutely. When they watch a bit of countdown and then come back to us a little <laughs> bit later. Have we got any more? We got one more there. Uh, two more. We're being spoiled tonight. My eyesight's absolutely terrible. One four seven split of the red and pink after putting the black. Oh, this is the recreating Ronnie's greatest shot. So that's one Jimmy that has been suggested. So we recreate that at some stage. Sure. Okay, good. Thanks. Thanks. <laughs> Thank you very much, Jimmy. Get, oh, get my cue. <laughs> <laughs> Let's have a look at one more tweet and get off air before I pass out. Can Jimmy... Oh, here we go. The famous screw shot I'm from the pink to the I'm black. About me, are they? Shoot, listen, no, no one cares I'm about you here. Don't like. worry. This <laughs> shot here is one of the most suggested. Your famous screw shot. You know the one from the pink to the black up the table and is back down? Kirk Stevens, was it? Yeah. Yeah. But we, we recreated that, didn't we, in, uh, in, in Belfast? Yeah. And well, you did Jim, it absolutely. Did. He did, did it absolutely perfect on the eighth attempt. 
so it wasn't too bad, James. Enough film, didn't you? Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> we didn't show the other ones. Right, listen, keep your comments coming and do join us back a little bit later tonight as well. Mark Selby's been an absolute delight this afternoon. Thanks for chatting to us. And as I said, it's thick and fast because the second round begins straight away when we come on there, 6.45. It's Zhao Jintong against Ali Carter. As for this afternoon, this man, 5-0, no surprises. See you later.